Nick, we're seeing a lot of interest in the theme of decarbonisation. Are there any stocks in the portfolio that give you exposure to this? Yeah, we have a few names in the portfolio that will benefit from decarbonisation. I think it's worth pointing out with any hot area like decarbonisation, our view is that it's best to try to look further afield to take exposure. We've had a timely reminder of this with some of the hotter areas cooling off a bit and some significant stock price movements downwards. One example would be solar where stocks fell over a third. Uh, now we don't have any exposure in that area. One way we are playing the name is Quanta. Quanta are a specialty contractor to utilities primarily in North America. Now Quanta was always a very solid business and well managed, but we think it's about to become significantly higher quality thanks to the tailwinds from decarbonisation. They do a lot of work around US transmission grid modernisation and hardening. Our view is as electric vehicles and renewable energy rolls out over the coming decade, we're going to have to see significant spending in this area. And that's going to benefit Quanta not just in 2021, but in the years to come. Another way we're, going to, we're playing the decarbonisation theme is Volkswagen. Now we have short term and long term reasons to like Volkswagen. In the short term, for anyone that's shopping for a car at the moment would know, dealers aren't very willing to give a lot of price discounts. And the reason is there's a global semiconductor shortage, which has forced the industry into a lot of rationality and they're taking up prices and that's flowing through to margins. Longer term, we believe Volkswagen can be the largest electric vehicle manufacturer in the world. And we're starting to see early signs of this with some really successful product launches under the Porsche, Audi and VW brands. And the power day in March where they set out ambitious but we think achievable targets for their electric vehicle transition. Importantly, we think Herbert Diess is the right CEO to get this done. And the stock trades at only seven times PE. With some really great assets like Porsche, Audi and Lamborghini, we don't think getting enough credit in the market. So those are two ways that we think it's two very interesting ways to play decarbonisation that also fit our process of buying undervalued growth companies.